What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we have a very fun video. I'm really excited to make this one. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit of goodies that my friends at Stizzy brought to me. Hope you guys enjoy this one, drop a like if you do, and I'm not going to waste too much time here, let's just dive straight into it. So, a little backstory on this video, let's take a rip first. We're getting straight out the gates in this one, but a little backstory on this. So I was just recently out in L.A., and while I was out there, Stizzy hit me up, you know? They, they sent me a little message on Instagram, and all they said was, hey, you want to try out our new solventless pods? Now, as soon as they said that, I was like, yo, that sounds like a banger video for me. I, I would love to, right? I want to make a video about this because Stizzy, I've tried their products before, right? I've tried the pods. I've tried their flour. If you guys saw the video on Yola's channel, I even tried their 40s, the new big like blunts that they have, which are really nice, by the way. But I did not know that they were making solventless products. And that gets me excited because I love my rosin. Now, for those of you guys who don't necessarily know the difference between solventless and a standard pod, let me explain a little bit. Solventless is all natural, so there's no solvents in it, hence the name. It's made using pressure, heat, ice, and just some water. Those are really the only steps involved in making live rosin. So what you end up getting is a much smoother hit, a much more flavorful hit, and in my opinion, you, you get much more stoned off a lesser amount because of all those terps that are in it. I mean, you're really preserving the terps with the solventless route. Um, I, I, of course, will always go for a solventless product. I think it, there's a noticeable quality jump when you go from a, you know, a standard live resin cart or pod up to something solventless, a rosin pod. So, when I heard Stizzy was making these, I was ecstatic. I was very excited. Now, what was very interesting about this is, you know, they once I said yes to this offer from them, you know, asking if I wanted the pods, they never told me to make a video. They were just like, yo, dude, you want some pods? I was like, yep, absolutely, right? So after that occurred, I was like, yo, I'm making a banger. And I figured I was only getting the pods, right? They, they meet up with me. And I, I'm handed a large box that almost looks like a briefcase. We'll throw a picture of that on screen right now. And in this box was quite a bit more than just the two pods that we're going to be talking about. Oh, that's upside down. That we're going to be talking about today. I started the video stone. Pardon that. But either way, in this box, they had the two pods, of course. They had an eighth. They had one of their 40s. They had a package of smaller joints, right? They had edibles. They had a bowl. They had a lighter. They had a little cassette tape that was really a speaker, which was pretty dope. They had a grinder. They had blunt papers. They had uh, stizzy wraps, and they also had joint papers. I mean, this box was loaded. If I was, like, in the apocalypse, like, stranded on the roof of a hospital or something, and Stizzy came and airdropped this to me, I'd be able to survive. I mean, it had everything, right? So, I was very caught off guard by that. Uh, I was not expecting this package to be that loaded up, but once I received it, you know, I decided that I didn't want to do this video where I just unbox both of the pods fresh and, you know, take a couple rips and go, yeah, cool, they're good. So I've actually been daily driving one of these two pods, right? Um, I've been hitting the Pink Lemonade pod, which is a nice sativa from them. Uh, let's take a couple more rips, talk about the statistics on this, you know, the THC, all that, and then we'll discuss more about my thoughts on these. So cheers, everybody. You guys are smoking along. Let me know what you're smoking in the comments. Now, this, like I said before, is the pink lem- <coughs> Shit, that was a fat rip. This is the pink lemonade. I don't know if the label will come through on my camera because my camera sucks. Um, I don't know, maybe if like- No, no one can read that. I can't even read that. Okay, so I'll just read it to you. So, these are half gram pods, of course, and we're looking at 81.27% THC, which for rosin is actually really good, right? Now, the thing here is percentage, obviously, as a lot of you guys know, is not everything. In fact, I don't ever really ask about or look at percentage when I buy weed. It's all about the terps. It's all about that entourage effect. 
that's partially why I like rosin so much. Now, normally I'm not a big fan of standard carts. Uh, I believe that live resin carts, you can get a better deal and a better experience just buying the actual live resin and dabbing it. However, when it comes to rosin, there is a different appeal to those carts. I just smacked the shit out of my mic. You know what, boys? We're switching up the vibe. I'm standing up now for this. You guys see why I'm moving out of this house? My lights are falling out of the goddamn fixtures. But either way, that's just the start of it. So let's talk about the pods, man. Now, listen, uh, part of the reason that I don't really enjoy live resin pods is because you, you could just get a better experience buying live resin on its own. But rosin pods are a different kind of game, right? Rosin pods, you get way better flavor, way better terps, and you get a nice high. Way nicer than I've ever gotten out of a different kind of pod. So that's why I feel that rosin pods are, are better value, at least, than, you know, a standard live resin pod. Now, how do we feel about the stizzy ones, ladies and gentlemen? Let me just show you guys this real quick. Um, you guys can see the oil is a really nice darker color. Mind you, I've had this out of the box for a while. We're going to pull out the other one. Um, and also, another thing I want you guys to look at is there's still a very fair bit left in this. Like, yeah, I've done my damage, but there's a fair bit left in that. Now, what's dope about that is I've been, I have not been going light on this thing. I've been ripping this, you know? I'm not all day long, but I've taken my fair share of rips. I've been daily driving it for a little bit of time now. And typically, a cart, you know, a standard half gram cart would not last me that long. So we're going to give a thumbs up for the, uh, the, the, you know, reliability, the length of time is going to last you department, right? I mean, the value proposition here, hey, nice. Now, in terms of the flavor, I've been ripping this all morning. I wanted to really get in the zone for this video, so I've actually only really ripped this today. It's like noon right now, guys, and I've only really ripped this today. So, my... My first impressions are this cart has fantastic flavor. It has a really sweet, like, I mean, it is pink lemonade, but you really do get that sweet, almost like citrusy flavor coming through. I don't know, you know, I've had very few cartridges or pods that have ever tasted as good as this. This is a really nice flavor. In terms of flavor town, we're giving it a, a 8.5 out of 10 rating. I will say that the flavor could be maybe a little stronger, but it's so smooth, and, you know, you do get those subtle notes of, of citrus. I like the flavor on this pot a lot. Now, in terms of the high, let's talk about that. Now, I get a really nice, uh, not super intense sativa feeling, but I'm also not slump in any way. So I totally see how this one is a sativa. The next one we're trying is an indica. You can see by the purple eye there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, I get a really nice chill experience from this strain, right? I feel talkative. I feel good. I feel like this was the perfect strain for me to hit before making the video. Um, my overall thought on the, the pink lemonade pod is that's really good. I don't know how much I like it compared to this one because we haven't tried it yet, but I will say out the gate, we're starting strong. I'm going to give that pod an honest 9 out of 10. I've tried other rosin pods before, and that that stacks up. That is up there. So, big ups for that one. Let's open this next one now. Now, the strain we have here is White Cherry Icy. This one is coming in at 79.72% THC, but like I mentioned earlier, who cares about that? THC percentage is not how you should be buying your weed. So, you know, we're not too concerned about the THC percentage. Uh, we got to push in the little tab here to open it. They really child-proofed it. They really child-proofed it, but I got it pretty easy. Now, let's bust this bad boy out. I'm excited about this strain, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited about this one. Look at that really nice golden color. That's really nice. Hold it up to the light. Oh, man. Not much of a smell coming from it, but I haven't ripped it yet. We've got it in the battery here. Once again, this strain is White Cherry Icy. I'm feeling fucking stoned off that pink lemonade. Thumbs up for that. Look at my bent-ass thumb. Let's uh, let's take a rip of this. Why am I standing? Bro? It's kind of a vibe. I'm going to stand back here. What's up, man? I'm going to... Fucking all... I'm out here. I'm fucking out here. What are you going to do about it? You fucking bastard. I'm, all... I'm out here. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. All right. 
No, let's, let's point it back. Let's really focus now. All right. Cheers, everyone. Well, that's a unique flavor. That's a unique... <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Mind you, I'm not taking the biggest rips in the world because I was actually just sick over the weekend. I'm just getting better, guys. But, oh, my God. Wow, that's a unique flavor. Hydration's important. Bring your water to the sesh. Don't forget it. But, you know, I I don't know how to describe that. It's, it's, it's almost like, this one's a lung puncher. The pink lemonade is a really smooth citrus flavor. This one punches you in the back of the throat right off the bat. Uh, which some people might like a lot. I think I prefer the hit off the pink lemonade one a little more. But this shit rips. I mean, this thing really just, just socks you, dude. This thing's good. Um, in terms of the flavor, I, I'm still trying to think of a term to describe it best. Uh, it's almost like a, um, like an artificial black cherry, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, maybe. But it's it's very unique. It's a much more aggressive flavor than the pink lemonade. Like I said, the pink lemonade flavor was subtle, but this, I mean, fucking just beat your ass. I mean, you, the flavor, you just immediately get it, right? The first thing you get is that flavor, and then you get that lung punch, you know, that throat punch, like, boom, you know? Um... I like this one, though. I really like this one, actually. I think I'm going to rip this for a little bit, and we're going to come back and talk about the high from this one. I feel like that's only fair. I can't take, like, two rips and stand here and be like, okay, you know? No, we got we got to see how it impacts us. Right now, we just took a couple rips of this. I'm still stoned off the pink lemonade. Uh, let's see how this changes the high. I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a minute. Maybe I'll be sitting. I don't know. Yo, so I just... I'm so high that I just did a whole segment without recording. Like, I just I just reviewed the whole thing. I just finished, right? And and I wasn't recording the whole fucking time. So now we're recording. Um, <laughs> it's been about probably 20 minutes since that last segment you guys have seen. Um, I'm really stoned and I'm feeling great. I think the cross high of these two strains is awesome right? I mean, I feel fantastic. I think Stizzy did a really good job with this, uh, this, this cherry strain here, the white cherry icy. And let's talk about the smoothness of the hit first. So it is more of a lung punch. If you're someone who likes that, you might really fuck with this one. I do really enjoy this cart. However, I think the pink lemonade is a little better in this category. So the one thing I want to really praise this one for, the White Cherry Icy, is the flavor. It's more intense than the Pink Lemonade. And I feel like if it wasn't as much of a lung punch, this flavor would be so incredible. Um, it's still a great flavor, and it, it tastes delicious, but it is a little rougher than the Pink Lemonade. The Pink Lemonade, I found myself, you know, more willing to take longer hits of and able to take, you know, longer and more hits of back-to-back, -back, uh, especially when I was smoking it this morning, just because it's, it's so smooth. It's so good. This one is still fantastic, but it's a little more of a long punch, so you gotta, you know, take a big rip and then just, just take that shit and then give yourself a minute. This one, this little pink lemonade, I mean, I can go all day. So... I think we're going to give this pod overall, who I, I think an 8 out of 10. It's really, really good. If that flavor, if that lung punch was just a little less, we'd be looking at a 9. This pink lemonade, honestly, I think I might adjust the score here. I've hit a lot of rosin pods, and this is probably one of my favorites that I've ever hit. Um, this is so smooth. I, I absolutely love the pink lemonade one. I think we're going to make it a 9.25. I mean, it's really good. It's really, really good. But with that being said, let's get some hydration. Drink your water if you're watching this. Stay hydrated. It's important. But all right, with that being done and taken care of, um, overall, my thoughts on these are... Both of these are great carts. Um, I think rosin pods and carts are the next wave uh, in terms of 
e carts in terms of pods uh, because the rosin just gives you a you know su such a flavorful smoke that you know a live resin and a distillate cart um, just can't really compete with you know um, those live resin carts I've talked about it before but you know I'm not a big fan of those but these <laughs> I I love the rosin ones these really get you high um, I'm stoned I feel great. Thank you all for tuning into this one, and a big shout out to Stizzy. Um, these are dope, love them. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, pink lemonade, white cherry icy. You know what's up. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Hey, a couple of pro Stizzy tips before we hop out here. So, tip number one: only use the regular Stizzy battery. Don't use the big one. Only use the regular. You want that low temp because you're working with some solventless rosin. Number two, only inhale for two to three seconds. You don't need to take blinkers, especially with the rosin pods. I mean, really, it's a waste. Number three, if you end up taking some blinkers or taking too many hits back to back and you might burn your pod, take it out and dry hit it five to ten times and then let it rest. You should be good to go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one.